You might never know it, but this seemingly tranquil New England forest is hard at work doing some serious global housekeeping. There's this enormous sucking sound, metaphorically, that is happening across the New England landscape and the eastern U.S. of carbon being brought down out of the atmosphere into our forests and reducing the amount that is up in the atmosphere. David Foster is the director of the Harvard Forest, about two hours west of Boston. With support from the National Science Foundation, researchers here study forest ecology. We're trying to understand what's shaped the land and where is this landscape going and what's going to be the fate of the eastern United States. That includes determining how the forest responds to carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Today, atmospheric scientist Bill Munger is climbing one of the 200-foot towers used to collect air samples. If you're really afraid of heights and don't trust your equipment, you can be kind of afraid. He's changing filters on the sensors atop the towers that measure CO2 concentration four times a second. Then we can add that up over a half an hour and get how much CO2 went into the forest or how much came out. Team members also record tree trunk width and leaf litter. After analyzing decades of data, Munger says the Harvard forest is drawing more and more carbon from the atmosphere every year. Every year, the forest has been taking up two to up to four metric tons of carbon per hectare of forest. But the problem is serious. Globally, we emit more than 30 billion metric tons of carbon dioxide annually, and the number continues to rise. The forests are working overtime. They're storing more carbon in the form of wood and in the form of material that gets stored and built into the soils around this landscape. Even so, Foster says while forests can't solve the climate problem, globally we pump far more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere than forests take out, they are more critical than ever to managing CO2 levels. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.